Hey, I'm here having lunch with Peter Du, and he is a medical microbiologist. And I just uh, said, we just shook hands, and then I said, we shouldn't have done that. And then I sanitized myself, and then he started telling me about this. <laughs> well, we have two forms of protection against infection. The first one is our skin, which is called the epidermidis. The second one is the billions and billions of bacteria, normal bacteria, normal flora that coat our skin called Staphylococcus epidermidis. When you apply alcohol and sanitizers, you're removing normal flora from your skin, making it ready for any other microbes, infectious microbes to enter your skin should you have a break, a cut or an abrasion. So if you've been working in a sewer, please do use sanitizer, but soap and water is all you need to remove any normal uh, bacteria and let your normal protection, your Staphylococcus epidermis, let it live. Don't kill it with, sa with sanitizer. So applying alcohol to your skin is killing a natural protective layer. Yes. But soap and water doesn't kill it, it just no. gets rid of the germ on top of it. Anything you may have applied, because the Staphylococcus is deeper embedded into the skin. Yep. So if you touch a dog poo, you get bacteria on your skin, wash it off with soap and water. Okay. So what about if somebody's got this sort of evil virus and they cough on you, droplets hit your skin, would you put that on it? How would you cough on someone? I don't know, I guess you, you forgot to put your hand so up your mouth. So one thing I've seen, with, don't put your hand on your mouth. I've seen a lot of, around Singapore, people cough like this. There's only one way to cough, and it's into your sleeve. Because if you cough into your hand as soon as you touch anything, uh, plate, shake a hand, then you transmit germs. So we always cough like this in Australia. Uh, we always cough like this in Australia. Okay, so... Okay, so somebody coughs like that or whatever. Maybe, maybe they did that and they put it on a... They, they touch something and then you touch that same thing. You're gonna... You've, you've now transferred the virus or yes. the germ yes. for its lifespan on that thing. Yes. Um, is that gonna help you kill it? That'll get rid of the virus, but yeah. I'd rather you, after you cough, wash your hands in soap and water. Instead of using this thing? Yeah. So surgeons, when they operate on you, don't use that. Right. Surgeons, when they operate, you scrub with soap and water for 30 minutes. So... <laughs> So we've all gone out and bought all of this stuff and masses of it. I remember I was in Oz just um, on the weekend and I went to the discount chemist warehouse and all the shelves were clear of all these sanitizers. Except for like I found one at the top and I bought whatever I could, but waste the money. Clever marketing. Yeah, Nam it. So soap and water. Well actually that's what the government here have been saying, just wash your hands with soap and water. They haven't been saying sanitize. Yeah. If you go into a hospital with immunocompromised sick patients, yep. then use sanitizer. Okay. Because you don't want to risk but the general person, uh, they use soap and water. And if you are fluid, you have a cough, then make sure you take responsibility for your hygiene and not passing it on, which means you cough, you wash your hands, or better still, don't cough into your hands. Okay. So touching somebody's upper sleeve is not a good idea if they're practicing that. Yeah, so this is good if you're in a hospital, if the place is definitely compromised. Sewer worker, deep sewer worker. Deep sewer worker, so you're in deep sewer. Um, and But for the general person wandering around who's feeling okay, that's actually going to reduce your... The sanitizer is going to reduce... So your, how deep do you want me to go with this? Um, okay, a bit deeper. <laughs> Okay, we all know about antibiotic resistant bacteria because for 50 years since penicillin, we've abused the use of antibiotics. You go to the doctor, he gives you antibiotics and you don't even have a bacterial infection. Uh, the doctor, uh, you go and you expect antibiotics. So what we've done is we've taught the germs to fight bacteria, uh, fight antibiotics, so antibiotics don't work. This will be the next thing. So bleach on your floor, alcohol on your hands, is hitting normal flora. We don't live in a sterile environment. So don't bleach your floor. No. Uh, You're going to create super bacteria. That in 50 years time, 20 years time, bleach won't work. Chlorine resistant bacteria. 
So, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense in that the, the human species managed to last however many thousands or millions or whatever it is years without bleach and sanitizer. Yeah. Um, so, and without soap, strangely enough. Let me... Well, I guess they're all dying at 26. And <laughs> let me uh, scare you a little bit. All right. So this, this framework we have here is 10% human cells 90% bacterial, rickettsial, parasite, viral cells. We are 90% non-human. Uh, there's a few people I've met where I would definitely agree with that. Uh, <laughs> um, so we're 90% not human. If you count all the cells on this framework, 10% yep. human, 90% viral, rickettsial, bacterial. Okay, so it's a parasite. symbiotic relationship. Sim healthy relationship. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we digest food, yep. that's how our immune system stays healthy, uh, it's how we keep infection out. Well, I'm just, I think I'm just going to eat some crap for lunch then. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for that, Peter. That's amazing. So, wasting my time. I mean, well, if I feel, if I, I guess, what about this? If I feel... I'm in a compromised environment, like somebody's coughing and sneezing. Yeah. That would be a wise thing to do. But if it's normal day to day, just wash your hands. I guess in this point in time, it's probably not bad advice to use sanitizer if you don't wash your hands with soap and water. But my worry is the longer term future, when this yeah. hand sanitizer, alcohol, become normal means of just cleaning our hands for no reason. So it's like mouthwash instead of brushing your teeth. Yes. Similar. Is toothpaste okay? Or can we do it with toothpaste? Is good. So that's good because I, I remember my mother washing my mouth out with soap and water when I said a few words when I was young and that wasn't pleasant. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was okay. probably not for germs. That was probably more for the orations that came out. It was, there, was, there was foulness involved, that's for sure. Um, all right, well, so thanks, Peter. was in the sewer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it, it, it was, stuff was coming out of it that may have been uh, linked to that. Um, okay, so that's good to know. So just be mindful, I guess, of protecting our own natural defenses and the floras on our body that are helping us uh, stay safe. Thanks, Peter. Peter Duke, how do people find out more about Peter Duke? Do you talk about this on your blogs and stuff? Not at all. Not you know, you all. should. That's a 30 year previous history. Yeah. I, I don't talk about fear. Yeah, you talk about fear. Well, yeah, you've done, yeah. So in that way, if you wanna, if you wanna de-scare yourself, <laughs> go, to, go to Peter's site to find out about, what, what is your site? Uh, PeterDuke.com.au PeterDuke, D-H-U.com.au Cool, thanks Peter. Let me go wash my hands. You get away.